So to create that video, we'll start by creating new projects. I'll make it 16 by 9. That's the aspect ratio I use. Then I'm going to give it a fine name. So I'll click on next. So this was one of the pictures that I used. So we are going to download some files from the asset store. The first one we're going to download is a clip graphics. So you scroll down to this clip graphics. You can just search for video flyer. So that's the first one we're going to download. So you can now go back to your project. So select the clip and come to clip graphics. So this is what we are going to be using. So you type in your right up here. So from here you can change the font style. Then I will duplicate this picture because I actually use it two times. Then I'll go back. Then I'll come to this asset store. Pop up browser. Which is this one. So that's the next one. So you just download it and it will install. If I scroll down, I will see pop up browser among these ones now. Since it has been downloaded and installed. So the one we are going to be using is this number 6. So I can now change the right up there. If I click on it, I'll come to Clip Graphics and uh, this way I'll change the right up. So you can decide to change the font from here or you still leave it as it is. I'm going to be adding another text to it. The reason why I'm adding this is just to lay more emphasis on it. So you can either decide to animate it or not. So let me bring in the next media I'm going to be using now. I'll select it, come to clip graphics, under video flyers. I'll select this number 2. I don't want to use the right up here because I found out that it was too tiny and somebody might not be able to read it. I'll just put full stop inside the right up. Add test here that was there before, it's no longer there. So it's important you do all of this to avoid having right tops in your video. Now I'm going to add sticker to it now. I'll go to layers, sticker. So we click on asset store. I'll come to test and title. If you scroll down, you're going to see abstract 2.0. So download and install it. I think it's this one. So I'm going to reduce it. So that's it. Now the right tops on it, I don't want it. I'll come to settings. Then I'll just put full stop. So I'm going to add in my own text by myself. So I'll just apply this one. Come back to layers, test. So I can animate the right top. I just use a simple scale up. Then when it's going out to let it scale down. So you can see that the duration of this is too short. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to duplicate this particular clip. I'll select it and uh, duplicate. So what that does is that it now have two of it, so it, it will be able to stay all through. So I will increase the length of this. Also increase the length of this. So which I think is okay now. I'm going to bring in the next clip I want to use now. I want to scale it up. So I'll click on pan and zoom. Then I'll make sure that my start and my end are equal. So I'll just click on this equals to. That means when I zoom it, that's how it's going to be from that beginning and the end. Come to video layers. The particular I'm going to be using here is this number six. Okay, that's perfect. So I'm going to be removing the right up right? so I can now bring in my right up. So I'll come to stickers. Then I'll click on asset store. So under test and type 2, I'm going to select grunge test. The particular I'm going to be using is this number 4 here. So I will make it start from here. Okay. So I'll change the right top. Just come to settings and change this to. So let's change the color. Okay. So let me bring in the next clip I'm going to use now. To increase the duration of this my particular clip, because I don't want it to get finished before the write up, I'm going to duplicate it again. So this is the next clip I'm going to use now. So I'll select this now. Come to clip graphics. Under clip graphics, I'll come to more titles. 
multi tool effects, then I'll select BAM. Yeah, so I can change right up now to video. Okay, so that is it. Now come to layers again, stickers. Then I will come to my asset store. You can just search for vintage. So vintage film. So you see it to be a vintage film. And um, this is the particular one there. Yeah. So let me bring in the next picture. So for this one, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add a transition to it. So I'll select picture and picture and select video ties. Select clip graphics. Then under my asset store, I can just search for street side. That's it. Download and install it. Then I'll go back. Then you see it here. We're going to use it number two. Yeah. So I'll change the right up. Then I'll change the font. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do now is to bring in some images. So I brought in all my pictures. The next thing I'm going to be adding now are transitions. So I'll just click on this plus button. Then I'll come to my asset store. Search for split mirror. So this is it. You click on it. Then we're going to see it here. Then the first one I'm going to use here is number three. Yeah, that's it. So the next one we are going to be using here is under this travel. So that's if, then I'll come to this other one. Come to sentiment and I will use this. So then the, over here we use presentation. I'll use pin. Then over here, still use, yeah, this is cool. Next, we are going to do nice to add layers, sticker, and come to asset store. So you can quickly search for paper texture. So this is it, to click on it. Then you see it under your sticker, paper texture. Particular we are going to be using is this number one. So we cannot change it now. Add our right top. So let me shrink the size a bit and place it here. So I'll still come to layers, come to effects, then add Gaussian blur. Then the shape should be square. It's okay. So this way I'm going to put my final right up i cannot change the animation in let's just fade it in then it phase out as well so it phase in and phase out increase let me set it and increase increase it so i'll come to layers test then add my final test so if you scroll down a bit you see test option under here, you can bring these ones closer to themselves. Then you can add shadow. You can add shadow to it. You can increase the opacity of the shadow from here. So the last one I'm going to be bringing in is one of the images in the asset store. So I'll just select this one. So it's too bright. I'm going to do color adjustment for it. I'll just reduce the brightness a bit, drop the highlights. So I can actually feather the edges. I can feather the edges more. So I want it to end at the same place. I would advise you to watch my full tutorial where I explain everything about Kaya Master from A to Z. You can just use the annotation up here to watch it before you continue with this so that you can have understanding of some of the things that I am doing.
So the next thing we are going to do now is to bring in our music. So if I come to audio, so you can come to the asset store and search for any particular music that you want that is going to match with what you are doing. But I've downloaded one already, which I'm still going to be using. So I'll go back to the beginning of my clip. I'll, I'm going to be using this on my way to Memphis. Then, so at the end of it, I'll trim it here. So that's it. Then I'll fade it down a bit. So I'll just click on. I'll select it. I'll select my audio. Then click here. Then I'll come forward a bit. Add a keyframe go to the end of it then reduce the volume so what this does i see to make the music to go down gradually so another thing you want to do is that any of your video clip that has audio in it you want to mute them so like this one i'll click on it select audio then i'll mute it so let me just make a quick correction to this this gaussian block i want it to start before my right up comes in then I will leave it immediately this one goes out. Then let me change this. Okay, I like this one. Let me use that same font for this one as well. Then let me animate it. Let me just add a little. So let me just add scale up. Yeah. At the end I can just say fade okay i'm going to be adding the transition here let's go to font transition and i want this okay so that's actually how i created that motion graphics watch this video over here to learn the in and out of kinemaster why this other one here is another good video that you will also want to see if you have learned something from this video please let me know in the comment section below like this video and subscribe to this channel to get more tutorial about shooting and editing with your smartphone. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Shalom.